Should it stay or should it go? That is the question we're gonna answer today as we talk about what you need to keep in your wardrobe and what might need to go. Hello and welcome to today's video. I'm so glad you have joined me today. If we haven't met, my name is Kay and I blog at dressformyday.com and both here and there. I try to encourage and equip women 50 and above simply to get dressed for our days. I like to help us build a wardrobe that really works for us so that we can invest in it smartly, wisely, and in a way that we can feel confident in. And I believe that when we build a wardrobe that really works for us, it works for our personal style essence, it works for our body type, our proportions, our budget, our lifestyle, and we choose colors that we love to wear, then those pieces work together really nicely. And honestly, that kind of wardrobe can stay in your closet for years. Today, we are gonna talk though about maybe it's time for some things to go. <laughs> and maybe it's time though to just brush a few things off, mend some things and keep them. So we're gonna talk about that because I constantly get questions from readers and viewers sometimes about specific things. They'll say, I have this thing in my closet. Should I keep this or should I let it go? Or just in general, what do you keep in your closet for years? What do you let go? Let's, let's see. Now, if you've got that closet that's really working for you, and I hope you do, if you have not read those blog posts, let me give you a link to that in the description box below. It's a, it's a, a series called Building a Wardrobe That Works For You, and it helps you do all those things I just said. It helps you narrow down your style essence, the colors of your wardrobe, um, just your the, what you're doing, right? Your lifestyle affects that. It helps you get started shopping in the stores that might really work for you so that you can build a wardrobe that's interchangeable and that you can build outfits from like, like that, right? Without overthinking things. But there does come a time when some of those things have a shelf life, right? They, do, they Maybe they do need to go. So let's talk about what can stay in your wardrobe and what needs to go. Basically, obviously, when things are torn, when things are ripped, when things are stained beyond cleaning, and when things are beyond repair, it is time to get rid of them. And you know, I hate that as much as you do because I've had a few garments in my life that either A, I invested in heavily, or B, I just loved wearing them. And then before long though, maybe they do have stains under the arms or around the neck that just are not coming out. Or I, I had this one skirt. I, I loved this beautiful white skirt. And unfortunately, a child at church <laughs> one day she was under a table and next thing I knew I looked down and she had an ink pen and she was scribbling on my white skirt. <laughs> Bless her heart. I, I was a little angry. I, I did not let the child or her parents know that, but I did have to eventually get rid of that skirt because I never could get all that ink out of that white skirt. So there are some things that we just need to let go of, things that are damaged beyond repair, we definitely need to get, they are not doing us any favors. That's just the truth. But what about things that are not beyond repair, but we wonder, are they still in style? So I wanna give you a few tips about things that may or may not be in style. Generally, I suggest that you keep anything that is leather, or that's cashmere, or that's wool, or that's 100%. In other words, if it's a natural fiber, then it's gonna have a longer life than if it's a synthetic. And that's because those 100% fabrics, those 100% natural fiber fabrics, just stand up to the test of time longer. Not only do they tend to be sturdier fabrics, but they also just look more current than something that is synthetic. Because just think back to the things you wore in the 60s and 70s when we were wearing a lot of synthetics, and we are now too, right? But when we were wearing so much, they just look dated after a while, they, and they lose their shape. So a natural fiber generally is something you can keep in your closet if 
it's not moth eaten or if it's not disintegrating in some other way. So that's one thing to look for. Another thing to consider is just really class. What, what is really classic, you know, because I know so many of my re readers and my viewers love a classic wardrobe like I do, but we're getting by with saying things are classic these days that really maybe they're not because sometimes a classic piece, let's say a denim jacket is a classic, but if it has lots of bells and whistles, it's going to be dated earlier. So the, the, tip here is to be careful when you're buying those classic pieces. Do you really want those bells and whistles? Do you want the ruffles on the denim jacket? Do you want the extra pockets on the pair of jeans? Do you want, I don't know, all those zippers on your leather jacket? Because the fewer bells and whistles, the more streamlined, the more pared back a garment is, then the more truly classic it is and the longer it can stay in your closet. Now that doesn't mean that you shouldn't ever buy the um, pieces that have detailing. In fact, those are the very details that are gonna keep your wardrobe a little bit more current looking, a little bit more interesting also. So you have to kind of weigh that out as you're building your wardrobe. You have to think, do I want to buy this denim jacket with the ruffles and all that, or maybe it's all the distressing, or do I want just a classic Levi's trucker jacket, which I love. I've had mine in my closet for 30 something years. So that's an example of something that's not going to leave my closet probably ever. Maybe they'll bury me in it <laughs> because it will always be in there because it truly is a classic. Now, I have bought over the years, I've bought other denim jackets and they've stayed in my closet for a while and then eventually I pass them on to somebody else or, or I get rid of them. So that, that's just the main thing, honestly, to think about is anything that has lots of bells and whistles. That's the best way I know to put it. Those little details, those details that say this is current, but five years later, three years later, it, they won't look as current. Now, one thing you can do with those pieces, of course, is put them aside and hope that eventually later they come back around, they look current again. The problem with that is, is that often those things, they may come back around, maybe ruffles come back in, but somehow that ruffle jacket from eight years ago just looks dated in comparison to the ruffle jacket that's out in 2022. So, you know, when you're buying those garments with bells and whistles, just think about that. Um, another thing that I suggest you always keep are those special occasion pieces, whether it be that special occasion handbag, that clutch, that menorier, um, or the, the jewelry even that you wear for special occasions. A lot of times that stays in style a long time, or you can get by with wearing it as you pair it with other things. Silk scarves are something that I have gotten rid of in the past that I wish I hadn't. So from now on, I am never, ever, ever <laughs> going to let go of one of my silk scarves unless it, you know what? No, I am never going to let go of one of my silk scarves again because every time I've done that, I've regretted it later. Do not let go of your silk scarves unless you just have way too many of them. Pearls, especially if they are real pearls, I don't care if they look maybe like they're from 10 years ago or they, you think, okay, well, I think though that this particular um, style of pearls doesn't look very classic right now. Just keep it, okay? So pearls, if they're real, if they look classic enough, if they're just a classic strand, definitely keep your pearls. Don't let go of them because eventually, yes, they will absolutely look on trend again. Um, I wore a pair of pearls in my, my wedding that my dad, I think, gave my mother for her wedding day. My daughter, I think, is going to wear them too. Those pearls are just classic pearls. They are never going to go out of style. We are never going to let go of them. Another thing that generally will hold the test of time are classics such as this cashmere sweater. Now, I love cashmere sweaters. I have a lot of them, but there are some in my closet that will eventually move on. And that's because they're in a fuchsia pink or they're in a bright blue or a lime green. I will eventually be moving those on out of my wardrobe. This black V-neck that is a very classic cut. It doesn't have a raglan sleeve or anything like that. This will be in my closet until it gets a hole or a rip or a tear or it just start, starts to peel so much that it's just not looking good anymore. So when you buy those classic pieces, a blazer, a cashmere sweater, 
a pretty white blouse, a leather jacket, those a black dress, just a classic black A-line dress or a sheath dress. Those can stay in your closet as long as they are not damaged and you can find ways to wear them. So my next tip is about what to do with those pieces that are 10, 15, 20, 30 years old. I have a black coat that I don't even remember. I think it uh, is, I think it's Jones of New York. And I think it's probably at this point, at least 20 years old, maybe older than that. It's just a classic black coat. It has a faux fur collar around it. This thing has not left my closet in years. I've worn it at least once every year for I don't know how many years, and I continue to wear it. I, I am not gonna get rid of it anytime soon because I only wear it once or twice a year. So especially things like that that you know, I don't want to buy a new whatever that I'm only gonna wear once or twice a year. If you have purchased something that's classic, and that stands the test of time. Yes, it looks a little older. You can tell she didn't buy this today or yesterday, but it's, it's still standing. Definitely keep those pieces. But the trick to wearing them is to wear them with more modern pieces or to wear them styled in a modern way. For instance, I did a blog piece, I, I guess a couple of years ago now, about a modern way to wear um, cardigan. So that typical button-up cardigan, that very classic button-up cardigan that we might would say, oh, that's out of style. But the truth is they continue to be in the stores and that's because they are a very classic style. Do they look as modern as the longer cardigans, the girlfriend, boyfriend, whatever cardigans? No, but you can wear them in this modern way where you kind of cross the fronts, you wear it more as like a top, you wear it as like a wrap. That looks oh so modern and interesting. But even if you just wear it open and classic with a pretty shell underneath it, if you have on some modern pumps or you're carrying a modern handbag, you're gonna look great in this. There's nothing wrong with wearing those classic pieces. They do not look old. They do not look like antiques. You absolutely can still wear those. All right. I hope that cleared up a few things. If there's a particular kind of item that I did not mention that you're wondering about, share that with me in the uh, comments below and I'll be glad to jump in there and share my thoughts. But the rest of you are welcome to share your thoughts too, as long as we all keep them kind and gracious, right? But let's talk about those items in your closet that you're wondering, do I get rid of this? Does it stay or does it go? So thank you so much for joining me today, ladies, and I hope you have a great week. I'll see you again really soon. Bye now.